Hi everyone, it's Armor King here, and I'm going to talk to you a bit about spacing and why is it important. As an Armor King main, as you can see, with punishing and punishing with moves is a part of Armor King's game plan. Now, with some moves, you can require yourself to move backwards and be able to move away in order to punish your opponent. Now, if you have mastered the Korean backdash, or, you know, just have a really good backdash game, you're able to punish any move that's thrown at you that doesn't reach over range 2, or, you know, doesn't reach two spaces of backdash. And for this, you need to know your simple assets. Your assets are going to be forward forward 4, forward forward 3, dark upper, forward 2, 1, and down back 2, 4. You also have your shoulder, which is very risky, and you have back 3. Now, I'm only telling you this to let you know, as an AK main, that having spacing is one of the most important things in the game. As you can see, you get a lot of reward here just for spacing out your opponent correctly. Now, honestly, if this helps you guys out, all these examples I've laid out for you here are perfect examples of spacing and why they're important. And also the uses of down forward 4 to back away from your opponent and back 4 to mix it up. Back 4 can give you guarantee a guaranteed follow up and such. And if your opponent tries to use tracking moves that are too powerful, you'll be able to use your armor move, which is your power crush, forward 1 plus 2. Again guys, I believe that this, is, this information here will be helpful, and that these moves will be able to help you improve your game. To be able to space, you need to have your Korean backdash, and you need to be able to have your you know, your basic execution, like four crouch dash one, four four four, four four three, crouch dash two, slash dark upper. You need your You just need your basic execution. If you can get your basic execution, your Korean backdash, then your spacing should be all the more improved. However, this comes with practice. Certain characters take certain spacing in order to be able to space them out correctly. So you need to know your opponent already. If you know your opponent is going to use moves that track, that means you, they're trying to limit you from your sidestep. And if they're going to be using tracking moves, they're trying to limit your movement. You always got to remember, you got to respect the fact that they're doing tracking moves, but you also got to know whether or not if those moves are punishable. Your spacing involves three to four spaces, I believe. There's the in-your-face space, which is about, what is, which is zero, space zero. And you have the other spaces, which are... Which, they're ranges. They're ranges, that's what they are. Range, ranges from range 1 to range 4 I believe maybe range 5 and you're all, you're usually if you want if you want to be able to get good spacing you want to either be a, around range 3 in order to space your opponent out but that also that also just depends on the character that you're fighting if you know it's a character that's completely linear then be by all means sidestep but you always have to press you always have to press and hold back after you either sidestep or sidewalk because that actually depends on whether the move hits you or not and it also depends on whether the opponent will get an advantage on you all right guys again i hope this you know finds you well and i hope you guys have an amazing day